What's up, crew? Um, it's been a while since we did a little uh, soapbox in the car. So I'm uh, in the train station about to head to a gig. It's Friday. You guys know the deal. Um, yeah, and I've been doing a good amount of, uh, you know, working, cranking, thinking. Obviously, now they got a kid two months old, um, you know, doing a lot of perspective changing thinking on different things it's amazing obviously for those of you that go through different life changes perspective is what changes the most mindset doesn't necessarily change you're still who you are and you have to just work around that but something that i read that book uh, principles by ray dalio and i'd recommend it one of the most mind-blowing books i've ever read and i've been doing a lot of thinking about my own principles and i think it's important to have principles that you live by and to understand them and i think that um one of the biggest things I've, I've noticed and big thing that's important to me is to not judge people uh, based off their principles and what they think and what they do. I think uh, it's it's far too easy to do that. And the reason why I know this is because I'm relatively convicted in my beliefs about things. And sometimes what I say or do, right? It's easy for me to think that that's the way everyone should think or do that. And that's obviously false, but it's easy when you're passionate about something, health, fitness, nutrition. God, that's what I love to do. That's what I do. You know, where when I tell someone eat meats and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch and no sugar and weigh and measure your food and let's use variance, functionality, intensity to get your results. Yes. I've never not seen that work. And if you want results, that's it. But unfortunately that's not going to work for everybody. And if you say, if you don't do this, then you're an idiot. That, that, that I, I don't, I used to think that, and I used to be close minded I think a lot of people out there think that, and I think, hey, how do we start people in the right direction? How do we start that process? All that good stuff, but that's a simple example of, I just wanna help people, right? And that's my purpose, that's my passion, that's what I love to do, and everything I do in my life is because I love that. And when you see people make a positive life change, it's unbelievable. And for me, it's an honor to be able to do that. I have the opportunity to impact the entire company of Reebok on a daily basis from a corporate wellness perspective. And that's my purpose is to make sure that our scope is continually being reached and, and outreaching that and, re and getting more people in the gym to our one nation gyms, our three location, locations in the States, our one in Shanghai, my level one, level two and CrossFit uh, competitors course that I have the opportunity to do, our programming that we do online. I do a lot and everyone says, how do you do it? But again, I don't care about that question right now. I care about why I do it. And that's because I love the purpose behind it. And behind the purpose is are my principles. And I think that that's something that it's super important. So my challenge to you, just a quick thought, thought piece is listen to people. It's important. It's a skill, just like talking. But listen, you don't need to agree, but we don't need to force our opinions or thoughts on other people. Inspired by your actions, lead from the front, but don't force what you feel is correct onto others because you can't talk yourself out of a situation that you've behaved yourself into. So you can also behave yourself out of those situations by leading from the front. So understand that your actions, your convictions, your principles will speak for themselves over time. And if they're positive and they're derived out of, out of a nature to help people and that there's a there's some sort of moral code behind it, it will naturally ooze across and out to people. So remember that. And don't get freaked out about people that stereotype, generalize, rationalize, or they're pushy on their beliefs. Fuck them, okay? De your principles define who you are. Remember that. And it defines your actions. And those actions create habits. Habits create character. Your character creates your lifestyle and your destiny. And I, and I know it's a, that's, that's a simple thought piece, but try it out. It just hit me. I gotta go hit the train. Take it or leave it. Hopefully this inspires you, pisses you off, makes you think. At the very least, it's not even five minutes.